We're logged in as Alana Grant, the project administrator, and are viewing our classic Kanban project board. Let's add a work in progress limit to the selected for development column. We do this by navigating to board settings and selecting columns. We can now specify minimum or maximum work in progress limits for the board columns. Let's specify a minimum limit of two. This means there should always be at least two issues in this column. If not, the column will be highlighted on the board. When we go back to the board, the selected for development column is highlighted and a minimum of two indicator is displayed. Because the work progress limit is violated, the column is highlighted in yellow. When we move an issue to that column, it resumes its normal appearance. A minimum limit like this is good to ensure the team always has work to do. When a team member moves an issue to done and is available for more work, they need to pull from the selected for development column. If there are no issues there, then that team member's work stops. Now let's add a work in progress limit for the in progress column, but this time we'll set a maximum limit of two issues. When we return to the board, we see that two issues at most are allowed in the in progress column. Otherwise, the column will be highlighted. Let's violate that limit by dragging three issues. The highlight indicates there is too much work in progress. So the team should focus on moving issues out of the in progress column. 